It looks like The Rock is clearing up his schedule to come back and face off against the Tribal Chief Roman Reigns. We got the latest in regards to Sasha Banks and Naomi, and more wrestling news and rumors on this A Wrestle Round episode. So make sure to have those notifications turned on to always be up to date and let's get right into it. The WWE Sasha Banks and Naomi situation continues, and it looks like it just keeps getting worse as the day goes by. On Friday Night SmackDown, of course, we learned that WWE suspended Sasha Banks and Naomi indefinitely and that they will be doing a tournament to determine brand new women's tag team champions. WWE even said on SmackDown that Sasha Banks and Naomi quote unquote let the WWE down and the rest of the fans. So they are very much acknowledging the whole situation. Apparently they also took down the companies at Sasha Banks and Naomi Facebook page. Their merchandise page was also taken down. Naomi no longer ran reference being a WWE superstar on her socials. So as I said, things are just getting worse. And the latest coming from the Wrestling Observer Radio is that it looks like a lot of this has to do with the fact that Ronda Rousey ended up replacing Sasha Banks in the WrestleMania Championship matchup. The Observer indicated that Sasha Banks was upset with WWE nixing the original plans for her at WrestleMania 38 as Sasha Banks was supposed to take on Charlotte Flair for the SmackDown Women's title. However, once Ronda Rousey came back, the plans ended up changing. They changed it to Ronda Rousey versus Charlotte Flair instead. Sasha was said to be mad that Ronda Rousey took a WrestleMania spot and to be honest, I will be upset as well. They build up Sasha Banks versus Charlotte for months and out of nowhere out comes Ronda Rousey and they just decided to put Sasha Banks in a team with Naomi. Which turned out to be great but of course, the creative changes probably didn't help out the situation which all of it led to them not being happy once again about the creative decisions for the tag team titles when they are trying to put it over. So again, it kind of seems like uh, this is just something that has been building up for quite a bit. And then now that Sasha Banks is with Naomi, she really wanted to get the tag team titles over, but WWE all of a sudden was going to have both of them do singles matches on the next pay-per-view and lose, which kind of feels like it doesn't really help anybody. This is definitely a bit of a tough situation for both sides. It looks like a SmackDown superstar is going to be getting a brand new gimmick change. WrestlingNews.co is indicated that last week there were once again pitches to recap Mad Cop Moss and have him drop the comedy aspect of his gimmick. This is not locked in, it is just being considered for the time being. WWE is continuing the Mad Cop Moss versus Happy Corbin storyline, but Moss didn't appear on television this week as of course he was written off TV last week when Corbin took him out. It is just a storyline injury as WWE basically get ready and decide whether or not and what type of change they're going to do with his character. It is worth mentioning though that it looks like WWE has big plans for him because backstage there are said to be people who feel that Matt Carter Moss has the potential to break out into one of the top baby faces on SmackDown. Whether or not he gets pushed that way is a different story because we kind of hear this all the time that WWE is about to push somebody but then all of a sudden they just don't do nothing with them. Let's talk about the Tribal Chief Roman Reigns as this week we got a big report from the Wrestling Observer Newsletter basically letting us know what is coming up for Roman Reigns in the next three pay-per-view. Of course RK Bro ended up losing the tag team titles this past week on SmackDown but it looks like they're not done with the bloodline because according to the Observer right now WWE plan is to have Roman Reigns defend the title against Matt Riddle on July 2nd at the Money in the Bank pay-per-view. Then after that, on July 30, he will take on Randy Orton at SummerSlam. And then he's going to take on Drew McIntyre at the Clash at the Castle in the UK Stadium on September 3rd. So they are doing a slow burn here. The Bloodline already defeated these three guys on the last pay-per-view in a tag team match. And now WWE is going to feed them to Roman Reigns one by one. To be fair though, I am excited for these matches and some good storyline would definitely come from it. Let's see if they stick with this plan though because of course things could change. Now jumping into next year's WrestleMania, it is likely that we could be getting Roman Reigns versus The Rock. As we get closer to it, it feels more and more likely as they continue to tease it, talk about it. Even Paul Heyman dropped The Rock name on SmackDown and clearly they left it for last because they 
know he was gonna get a big reaction. Nonetheless, a brand new report kind of do indicate that The Rock could be getting ready to return for that WrestleMania match. As Brian Alvarez recently discussed the chances of The Rock appearing at next year's big event, and he ended up revealing that at this point, that right now, The Rock has no movie commitments for the first quarter of 2023. Now, this is very unusual as The Rock is one of the most booked actors on Hollywood. It could also be that he is taking time off to fully focus on launching the XFL, but who's to say he's not doing that matchup with Roman Reigns? That schedule is just looking too clean and too convenient, and I really can see The Rock making a return. Just a quick fantasy book in here. Imagine we get Cody Rhodes versus Roman Reigns at the Royal Rumble for one of the titles, and Cody defeats Roman Reigns because of a shocking return or shocking interference from The Rock. So then, of course, that leads into The Rock versus Roman at Mania, and Cody get to main event the other night for that title with somebody else. Really easy booking. WWE could get it done. But please don't have The Rock return and win the Royal Rumble. They just done that way too many times already. Instead, whoever wins the Rumble have Cody face off at Mania. Anyways, guys, make sure to subscribe for more wrestling news and drop a like on the video if you enjoyed the coverage. Catch you on the next one. So stay savage.